So, as I was hearing the song, uh, I slowed it down on, a, on on an app I have. I like I really slowed it down, and I could he clearly hear two guitars playing. One of them was doing this, you know, more or less. Um, and then the other one was doing the, the the little lead part. So let's start with this one first. I want the guitar to sound really soft, which is why I'm not using a pink. I think John is using his fingers, because um, you know he does that a lot. But I'm just using my thumb, plugging each string. So what, you, what you're gonna do is, on the use your index finger on the ninth fret. You're gonna grab the fifth string, the fourth string, and the third string, the A, D, and G string. So you're gonna put your index finger right there, and then with your thumb, you're gonna play the fifth and fourth string. And you're gonna hammer on with your ring finger on the fifth string on the eleventh fret. So it's gonna sound like this. And then you're gonna do the same thing except with the fourth and third string now. So you're gonna hammer on with your ring finger on the fourth string on the eleventh fret. So those those two parts they're gonna sound like this. And then you're gonna play the the fourth and third string by themselves on the ninth fret and then put your ring and, put, and then put your ring finger on the eleventh fret of the fifth string and you're gonna play the fifth and fourth string so all that's gonna sound like this again and then after that just the twelfth fret on the sixth string Then this part, you're gonna put your index finger on the eleventh fret of the fifth and fourth string, and then you're gonna hammer on with your second finger, your middle finger, on the twelfth fret on the fifth string only. So it's gonna sound like this. So all that together is gonna to sound like this. And then the next two parts, you're gonna put your index finger on the ninth fret of the fourth string. And then your your middle finger on the fifth string, eleventh fret. And then you're gonna move these two fingers down two frets, one, two. So that's right here seventh fret, and right here is ninth fret. So all that together is gonna sound. Again slowly. part over that is going to sound so with your index finger on the ninth fret second string and then with your middle finger or third finger doesn't matter from the twelfth fret of the second string you're going to slide to the fourteenth fret so it's going to sound like this and then you're going to go back to the twelfth fret so it's going to sound like this and then back to the ninth fret. And then ninth fret third string. So all that. And then ninth fret second string. Hammer on to the tenth fret. And then back to the ninth fret. And then eleventh fret of the of the third string. 
and then just slide down wherever. So it's gonna sound, all of that's gonna sound like this. Notice I'm using my finger to pluck the string because you want it to sound really, really soft because that's how it's, at least that's the way I hear it. It's really soft. With a pick, it sounds too harsh. And then for the verses, it's just these two chords, F, F sharp minor seven. And that's all he does, down up, down up, down up. And then, and then on B, the same thing. So for F sharp minor seven, it's a bar chord. So if you're a beginner, if you're not used to that, really practice these, okay? It, ju it just takes time to get used to it. Now for the chorus, it's basically the same thing we did on the intro of the song. But there's a slight difference at the end, so. That's, the sa that's, all, the that's all the same, right? Now all you're gonna do is just play the 11th fret of the fifth string, and then 12th fret of the uh, the sixth string. Those are the last two notes. So that's the only difference. So, so the last two notes are the only thing that are different. So 11th fret of the fifth string, and then 12th fret of the sixth string. So all of that's gonna sound like this. And then, and then you're gonna do, you're just gonna play the the eighth fret. I mean the ninth fret of the fifth string. So again. You're gonna play this this really quickly because after this we're gonna do this. So that part is. So you're gonna slide from uh, the ninth fret of the fourth string uh, to the eleventh fret, right? And then ninth ninth fret again. So it's gonna sound. And then slide ninth ninth fret to eleventh fret on the fifth string. And then ninth fret. And then ninth fret again, but hammer on to the eleventh. So it's gonna sound like this. Again. So, so after the chorus, uh, again, and then, and then it's gonna go again, so that's all the same, and then hammer on to the 11th fret, but then you're gonna go, 9th fret, 5th string, 12th fret, 6th string, 9th fret, 6th string. So, th those are the last three notes. And it's going to be fast. So, let's play that. Right? And then again. See? So, again. Then he's gonna play the chorus again. So it's it's really similar, and that's all he does. He plays around with those notes every time he plays the chorus. So after the chorus, he's always gonna be messing around with that that scale right here. So, but on this time. It's gonna sound so, dun, 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 dun. and then there's a slight pause, and you're gonna go. So, you're gonna slide from anywhere to the eleventh fret of the fifth string, and then hammer on ninth fret to the eleventh fret on fourth string, to the eleventh fret right, and then ninth fret again. So it's gonna sound. So it's gonna, all of it's gonna go. And then ninth fret, fits, ninth fret to 11th fret on the fifth string. And then ninth fret again. So. Again, slowly.
So that's all he does. He, he just messes around with those notes every time he plays the chorus. Now for the bridge of the song, I haven't figured it out yet, but this gives you a great start, guys. So just practice this, and thanks for watching.